Hey, what's up, my little tattoos? Hold on. Hello, Jesus. Can you put your daddy on the phone? Yeah. Kendrick Lamar needs to be canceled. No, what the hell is going on with Kendrick Lamar? Listen, we're about to get into this mess because it is unbelievable. I first thought this was a joke until the studio house actually announced it, right? This lets you go. Yo, all money ain't good money. And also, pick your friends that are non-black wisely. When you tell them portrayals of slavery, yo, what am I talking about? Let's get into this. But grab a chair. You're not going to believe this. Start this from the top, right? Kendrick Lamar is teaming up with South Park creators Trey Parker and Matt Stone for an untitled live action comedy with Paramount Pictures about slavery. First of all, it's a, comment, a comedy about slavery, but let's talk about what's so funny. Y'all want to hear the punchline? Y'all want to hear the joke? Listen, Grammy Women Rapper, this is being reported by all the major outlets. Kendrick Lamar is delving into the movie business, right? Now get this, to produce a new comedy. <laughs> I know. I saw this video and it reminded me of what these auditions probably look like for the damn show. <laughs> Y'all watch this. This is probably what it looked like. Okay, let's get some cotton picking action going on. It's hot. You're sweaty. You're a slave. Here comes the master. Here he is. Here's master. All right, so let's look up at the master. Can we get a little more emotion? All right. Oh, now the comedy's untitled, but, and it doesn't have a director at this time, probably because no director wants to attach their name to the mess. The movie will follow a young black man who lands an internship at a living history museum, museum where he plays a slave reenactor. Yeah, but there's more, there's more, there's more. During his time, during that time there, he makes a startling discovery that his ancestor, that the ancestors of his white girlfriend were actually the owners of his ancestors. That's right. The creators of South Park, Paramount Pictures, and Kendrick, freedom, freedom, I can't leave, freedom, let me, the old, and Kendrick, freedom, we got to do better for our community. We going to be all right, Lamar, have teamed up to make a comedy <laughs> about a black man who works at a natural history museum as a slave reenactor, right? <laughs> and it discovers his girlfriend's ancestors used to own his ancestors. Now, let me tell you something. First of all, let's be actual and factual. If his, Earl, if his girlfriend's ancestors really owned his ancestors, that means, that means he's dating his sister, aunt, or cousin 16,000 times removed. That means they are related. We all know what went down to slavery. We all know what happened. If your ancestors own my ancestors, guess what? We taking a well, listen. We taking a twenty three and me. I bet you anything. We both getting a notification saying, "Peeping, you have a new relative." First of all, let's talk about that. But let's get some more into this mess. Well, it's quick to say that no director is attached at this time, but. Production is expected to begin sometime in spring. Do you know why? Because what director is going... <laughs> Y'all, all money ain't good money. I want to know what he read. I want to know what about the concept was so funny. I want to know how... Well, I already know how Paramount Pictures signed up for this. And I already know how the boys at South Park signed up for this. But Kendrick, you, Mr. We Gonna Be Alright? Y'all, listen... No release plans were given. If they are lucky, if Kendrick is lucky, this will go straight to never being released and he can move past this. Y'all, hey, listen, I understand sometimes other people who do not see the horrors of slavery are willing to pay you a few million to attach your name onto something, but did you really need that executive production credit? Because that's the one thing I know. Whenever people make problematic, whenever, right? People are making problematic things, and it's Paramount Plus, the uh, the streaming network, not the studios, but Paramount Plus, the streaming network, which is still under Paramount, Paramount Studios, so it stands. But whenever people pay you to be involved with things that culturally people will find problematic, and they can't you a bunch of money, can somebody, Lord, just say, listen, 
Anyway, let's go in this. Listen. Um, now, Paramount Pictures will handle theatrical distribution along with the home entertainment and television licensing rights. Y'all, I don't know. I feel like I should review this just so we could drag it. I don't care how funny it is. The premise ain't funny. But then again, y'all go and watch it too. We're going to have a review. This is going to be my first video review. We're doing movie club. Movie club, right? Now... There's, so it's going to be in the theater and it's going to be on home thing, right? Look how proud Paramount Pictures is to say this. On behalf of Paramount, the wider Viacom CBS family. They are so proud. This is going to be a PR nightmare. We look forward to ushering in the first theatrical collaboration from these creative visionaries and galvanizing audiences worldwide around a powerful storytelling experience. Yes, somebody, did, a person dressing up in slave reenactment and possibly dating their sister 18 times removed. Ha ha, funny jokes guys, right? Why do I feel like the only person of color and black person in that room was Kendrick Lamar? And why do I always also feel like the old Kendrick Lamar wasn't even in that room? He had his lawyer who was probably not black shaking hands and being like, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. You know what, why don't we call, you know what, why don't we call the main character Sam Bo? Get it? Sam, and his last name is Bo. That's right. And then, no, 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 no. They can do beatbox, breakboxing. Not going to be shucking and jiving. Sam Bo is going to show up at his white relative's house, and they're going to put on Jay-Z and Kanye West. You know those are the racists. Whenever somebody's doing something problematic, they want to throw on Kanye West and Jay-Z, right? And then he's not going to shuck and jive. He's going to do a dance to his people's culture, probably while the people are yelling the N-word in the background. Y'all, did they learn nothing from Get Out? I guess not, right? Listen, it's going to be a... Kendrick Lamar is launching his media company from this. It's attached to his record label. He is expecting big things from this. But I got to ask y'all, and I want to know your comments. I know it hasn't come out. And before any of y'all jump in my comments being like, Tisa, give it a chance. No! I'm sick of this mess. I'm sick of our culture and our pain and what we've been through. It's not a comedy. Are they making a comedy? Are they making comedies about anything else? When are we going to get some respect? It's not funny. The premise isn't funny. Are we talking about any other genocide? Are we talking about anything else? Do we want to laugh about that? You know why? Because as much as that Dragon Rose is just not funny, you could have thought of a million other plot lines. Why did it have to be that one? You could have thought of a million other funny angles. Why did it have to be that one? Ask yourself that. But also ask them in the comments. I want to know what y'all think. Do y'all think I'm tripping? Do y'all think I'm reaching? Do y'all think it's too much? Y'all. So don't forget, I'm going live tonight at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern. We are going to discuss what's going on in the Kasha case. We have round up all the evidence, and y'all, it's getting deep. If you haven't watched my video about what's going on in her husband's testimony, you need to see it. But if not, meet me tonight at 6, and we getting into it. All right, my little tattletale.